Today is Monday, April 12th, and we want to talk about this chart, which you can see here. We posted in our subscriber note this morning and on Twitter as well. And it's getting a lot of feedback and questions, so we just want to talk about this quickly. What you're seeing here is data from the OCC. That's called the Options Clearing Corp. Each week, the Options Clearing Corp puts out a summary of all the options trades that took place during the previous week, those previous five days. And they give us a breakdown by the option type. So equity, ETF, or index. And they tell us whether people were buying contracts to open, selling contracts to open, closing contracts. And we can take that data and we can change it to see in a variety of different ways what risk looks like in markets. So what do we mean by that? Well, let's just look at this chart. There's two lines here going back to October of 2018. The blue line is the number of index options, call options being bought to open. That means that people are buying calls thinking that markets are going to go up. So the index includes SPX, NASDAQ, Russell. Those are kind of the big ones. It also includes the VIX. So the VIX can be maybe a little bit of a contrary indicator, right? Because if you're buying VIX calls, that you may think the market's going to crash. But the bulk of this contract buying is going to be the S&P 500. So what we have here is on net, a lot of guys, a lot of traders stepping up to buy calls in the index, right? They think markets are going to go higher. Okay, not so strange. But what is strange is now more puts are being sold to open. Puts More puts are being sold short than bought to open. Why do people sell puts short? They sell puts short in general as an income trade because they do not think that the market is going to go down. The last time this happened at this level was the COVID crash, February, March of 2020. Before that, it was at the end of 2018, which was a very nasty market, uh, December of 2018, uh, with the Christmas Eve low, you know, the market bounced very sharply there. But what's so different about the market in February of 20 and March and December of 2018 is that volatility is very high. That meant that put options are worth a lot of money. The vol premium, because people were worried that the market would drop farther, is much wider than it is now. So selling puts makes a lot more sense. At least you can argue that. Now we're at all-time highs and people are stepping up to sell puts. So functionally, if you think about how traders are positioned in the market right now, they're long calls and they're short puts. That has the same risk, essentially, of just being naked long stock. Only the difference here is there's convexity involved. And what does convexity mean? Well, convexity means that options have a nonlinear return. Without getting too much into the weeds, what this is telling us is that the risk of this position is much higher than just simply being long stock. When you're short puts, that's where margin calls happen, right? That's where the risk of convexity of being short options is somewhat hidden. It's not necessarily clear to a lot of traders. And so we're sitting here at all time highs with a near record amount of traders short puts, at least based on this data and long calls. And there's not that much vol premium. I mean, look at the market, what it's done over the last month. You can see that it's just ripped higher. And, you know, look, we have stimulus. We have a lot of reasons for the market to, to go up. The vaccines rolling out, economic data, you can argue is good, and the market's up a lot, right? We're up over 5% this month. And the VIX is also reaching new lows. So volatility as a whole is coming down. But what traders are doing as we have a record low VIX, at least post-COVID crash, the record low VIX, we have traders stepping up to short puts in major size. And again, that is a very risky scenario because of that hidden convexity risk. Because of the fact that if the market goes down 1%, an options position can lose 10, 20, 30% plus, right? That's the convexity risk that we're talking about. So this is really something to watch. We update this data for our subscribers every single week, every single Friday. You can get a free trial of our OCC dashboard, which allows you to come in and play around with this data and see for yourself uh, some of the unique views that this provides. It's free with the trial, again, free five-day trial.
come on in, check it out, look at some of the other information and data we have. If you have any questions, uh, post it in the comments and we are happy to respond. Also hit us up at Spot Gamma on Twitter. Thanks.